Hi, it's Mark Marmer from Signature Electric. So we're down here at the Peak Power offices again. Uh, a little bit of an expansion since the last time we were here. We're here for a bit of a press conference. The Government of Canada is uh, financing in part the uh, installation of a variety of chargers, some of them in the downtown core, Kingset Capital, Dream, and of course we're working with Peak Power and Switch for the software. So we have a, a really good group of uh, Canadian innovators here and it's nice to see a, a great Canadian story like this. Today we're announcing funding through Natural Resources Canada uh, Zero Emissions Vehicle Infrastructure Program to accelerate electric vehicle adoption across the country. I'd like to welcome to the stage Mrs. DeBrusen, the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Natural Resources and to the Minister of Environment and Climate Change, who is here on behalf of the Honourable Jonathan Wilkinson, Minister of Natural Resources. We're here about EV Week and we're here about this announcement today. Transportation is a key focus of our plan. We had an um, emissions reductions plan that we released earlier this year. We set the goal to make sure that all new passenger vehicles sold in Canada by 2035 will be zero emissions. And we're making it easier and cheaper for Canadians to buy those and to charge them. So to make this happen, we've invested a historic $1 billion that includes providing rebates of up to $5,000 for the purchase of new electric or other alternative fuel vehicles. And as well, and this is a part we don't talk about as much, but there's an immediate 100% write down for businesses who are buying these vehicles. At the same time, our government has been helping to expand the national network of charging stations for electric vehicles and installing chargers throughout the country in places where Canadians live, work and play. So at multi-residential complexes, alongside on-street parking spots, in public places, and at workplaces. Our recent federal budget builds on all of that. It includes an additional $1.7 billion to extend our purchase incentive program to March 2025. Uh, and expanded types of vehicle models have been included now to be eligible for the program, including vans, trucks, and SUVs. And to reach our goal to add 50,000 zero emission vehicles to Canada's network, the budget also included $400 million to enter Canada's zero emission vehicles infrastructure program for deploying zero emission vehicle infrastructure. And all of that brings me to this week today, we're talking about EV Week in Canada. So across our country, our government is supporting a nationwide effort to raise awareness of the many benefits of zero emission vehicles and to build a healthier, greener economy while also helping communities deploy the infrastructure that they need. This week, Minister Al Gabra announced the government is launching a four-year, $547.5 million program to help businesses and communities and families to make the switch to zero emission vehicles. And this program will help eligible recipients to purchase or lease medium and heavy duty zero emission vehicles with incentives ranging from $10,000 up to $200,000, depending on the vehicle class. Public transit is a key piece of that puzzle. And during EV Week, our government is also pleased to announce that we're on track to surpass our 2019 commitment of supporting five zero zero emission buses. This includes support for nearly 4,000 school buses in British Columbia, Quebec and Prince Edward Island, along with over 1,200 public transit buses across 10 different cities. In the past few years, Canada has approved more than 33,000 EV chargers, of which more than 1,700 have been installed throughout the country. You can actually travel from one coast to the other. They sent an Enercan employee out to test this out. <laughs> And bless his soul, he did it. He drove from one end to the other. We have that charging infrastructure in place. Today, I'm pleased to highlight on behalf of Minister Wilkinson that the Government of Canada has teamed up with Peak Power to install 117 EV chargers across Ontario. And all of that is going to be made possible, in part, uh, by a federal contribution of $765,000 from our Zero Emission Vehicle Infrastructure Program. So that's how we create the future for this system that we're growing out and for a cleaner environment, for more affordability for Canadians. It's great to be able to have partners like Peak Power in trying to achieve those results. So thank you so much. I'm really happy to have been here with you today. Thank you. We are thrilled to support the Canadian government's electrification goals through smart EV charging. The funding from NRCAN would enable us to provide drivers with more options for EV charging, while the smart nature of our Synergy technology in the chargers 
means that grid operators don't have to worry about capacity constraints when EVs are plugged into the grid. We will be installing 117 V1G chargers. V1G, that's one directional chargers or standard chargers as opposed to V to G, which is um, our other business line around bi-directional chargers. Our peak synergy software, which is currently used in our peak drive V to G project, will be at the base of this program. The software will enable the chargers to draw energy from the grid when it's most widely available and avoid times of peak demand. It can also adjust the flow rate at which the cars are charged. These smart chargers will reduce strain on the grid, benefiting utilities and electricity users by increasing grid capacity, as well as giving EV drivers more locations to charge their vehicles. Our first installations will be in properties owned by Dream Unlimited and Kingset Capital. Both companies have extensive environmental goals, providing charger access to their tenants and customers will benefit their buildings, the grid, and the planet. We're working with partners with deep expertise in EV charging. Switch Energy is co-developing the software for the EV chargers with peak power, while Signature Electric will install the hardware and supporting infrastructure. With that, I'd like to introduce Carter Lee, CEO of Switch. It's with really great excitement that, you know, us as an EV charging company that's focused on the built environment, that we're working with Peak Power, one of the leaders in the building energy management space, to be co-developing a software that specifically addresses the challenges of electrification within the built environment. We're also really excited to be working with our longtime partner, Signature Electric, to be deploying these, uh, this charging software and hardware at Kingset and at Dream. And, uh, you know, with this combined effort, I think we're really going to be able to address the specific challenges of deploying uh, electric vehicle charging infrastructure in high density urban settings like in multifamily buildings and offices. So really excited to be working on this initiative and uh, really excited to kick it off. Thanks, everybody. Signature Electric is very pleased to be involved in the project in general. This is providing in addition to the goal of 2035 and reducing emissions, it's providing employment. At Signature Electric, it's, it's really helped, but I can tell you the, the other groups that are involved here as well, they've expanded the space that we're standing in today, didn't exist the last time I was here. Look what we have. We have the Canadian government supporting us. We have a, a couple of uh, landlords here in, 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 the, in the GTA and across Canada that are taking the initiative to be able to have these in their properties, and we have places that are providing software and sort of building the system as we go to try to take advantage of new opportunities. I think we've taken the money and we put it with smart people to come up with smart solutions. And uh, again, we're very pleased to be involved in this and wish everybody luck with the project. It's great. Thank you for joining us at this uh, press conference. It was an interesting opportunity, certainly to hear from uh, the government of Canada, who I think is really doing a great job in terms of helping to uh, electrify and reduce our GSG uh, emissions. And as I mentioned, uh, helping with uh, employment as well. This is an important uh, aspect of it. And we get to work with interesting companies and innovative people like Switch Energy and Peak Power. Peak Power is uh, well known, not just here in Canada, but across the world. And I, I think this is all, in my estimation, uh, a Canadian story, a Canadian success story and we need to shout this from the rooftops. If you're wanting to see more of these types of things, we're happy to uh, share it with you. You can go to the website, signatureelectric.ca, uh, or you can even reach us by phone if you want, 416-490-8093. Maybe we can help you with your next installation.